Tasha likes money. And I remember sitting with our makeup artist, because at the time we shared the same makeup artist, and he was saying Portia loves, and this is all she brags about, is the lifestyle. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams seems to regret her decision to marry her friend's former husband, Simon Gobadia, sooner than anyone had thought. No one saw it coming that Portia would be so fast to pull out her divorce card just after her 15 months of marriage with Simon. But it seems to be happening. If you are not aware of the tea concerning Portia snatching Simon from her friend and fellow Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Fallon Pina, you might want to pay more attention to this video because we are about to spill how it all started and the latest happenings in the relationship. Portia and Simon's first meeting was back in 2021 while filming an episode of the reality TV show in Simon and Fallon's house. No one knew what must have ensued behind the curtains, but Fallon's problems in her marriage to Simon went viral shortly after Portia and Simon's meeting. Fast forward, Simon and Fallon split in April 2021. But interestingly, Simon got engaged to Portia just a month after his divorce from Fallon. The reality TV show fans wondered what must have happened. They assumed Portia must have been having a secret affair with Simon after they met. Simon's engagement to Portia in May 2023 wasn't the type that seemed private. He went all out for Portia, calling her the love of his life and the kind of woman he had longed for all his life. That was a big slap to Fallon. But neither Simon nor Portia seemed to care about how she felt or whatever she had to go through emotionally or publicly. The latest engaged couple relentlessly flaunted each other on social media while going on several vacations to spend quality time together. After over a year of their engagement, the couple married in the most glamorous way anyone could ever imagine. The wedding, which took place for about a week in November 2022, covered so many details of both the couple's traditions and cultures. Portia married Simon legally and traditionally and topped it off with a white wedding. They were the talk of the town for quite some while, but now the sweet and rosy relationship seems to have hit a rock so soon. Portia has filed for a divorce. Portia is not ready to let go of her celebrity status and go downhill with Simon. If you are confused, let's quickly unravel the latest happenings in the Gobadia Empire. Recently, Simon has been in hot water as the US government is reportedly suing him for several crimes he has committed over the years of his stay in the US. You should know the US government didn't go looking for Simon to sue him. He brought this mishap upon himself. Let's get into it. Simon recently applied for citizenship status in the US, and this led to him getting slammed with a lawsuit regarding the past unlawful activities he had engaged in. Simon's crimes include being involved in numerous felonies for bank fraud, credit card fraud, identity theft, and so much more. Simon's first entry into the US was in August 1982 through a visitor visa, which lasted for six months. But he wasn't interested in leaving the country after the time he was allowed there had lapsed, which made him overstay his visitor visa. Simon was in the country till 1985. He tried a permanent resident application to gain a full stay, but it was denied, and he was declared deportable, which made him voluntarily leave the US in December 1985. However, Simon didn't give up on his dream of making the US his newly found home. He entered the country again in June 1986 with another six-month visitor visa, which he overstayed the duration again. While Simon was still in the country, he was arrested the following year on bank and credit card fraud charges, to which he pleaded guilty to the felony in court. After Simon was fined and let off the hook, he got arrested again in January 1989, this time for unauthorized vehicle use. But that's not even the end of his arrest battles. Simon was arrested again in 1990 after committing another felony for credit card fraud. Simon's cup was filled in 1991 after an immigration judge banged the gavel on the order that Simon be deported back to his homeland, Nigeria. So Simon was slated to be deported in March 1992, but he magically retained a stay for himself in the country. As clearly stated earlier, Simon was interested in permanently living in the US as he had started seeing the country as his new homeland. This made Simon outsmart the government 
as he used a different identity to seek temporary resident status under the Social Agriculture Worker SAW program. Simon got away with his past criminal activities after the application was approved. He received a registration card as a temporary resident in July 1991. Simon's wish was eventually granted, as he became a permanent resident in April 1992. Still, Simon wanted more than just being a permanent resident. This made him apply for naturalization under a second identity in 2016, but his application was denied. However, he didn't give up. Simon filed another application in 2022, but was denied again. Still on his motto of not giving up on wanting to be a citizen of the US, he requested a hearing. Still, unfortunately for Simon, his denial was reaffirmed in November 2022. Simon got married to Portia right after this happened. You may think Simon had lost hope. He didn't. He filed an instant complaint in March 2023, asking the court to vacate the denial and grant him US citizenship. That was quite bold for someone who had been charged with several felonies. Anyway, a US district judge ordered that Simon's unending quest for naturalization should be immediately dismissed in January 2024. Oops, that's the end of a three-decade citizenship run. Now Simon has triggered the US government to go back to the crimes he had committed in the past. At the same time, he is also at the risk of facing deportation over again. However, now that Simon's ship is on the verge of sinking, Portia wants to bail on him and part ways to avoid sharing the consequences of Simon's actions. Portia, who hinted some months back that she would be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta show, did not only do so in a subtle manner. She told her fans through a video where she claimed she should be addressed as Portia Gobadia and not as Portia Williams because she's happily married to the love of her life and it was just right to go by his last name. Who said that? Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gravadia is in the building. <laughs> See ya! Portia now seemingly trying to get off her dearest husband's back so fast looks like a mystery. But is it really a mystery? It doesn't seem so because many people already concluded Portia agreed to be with Simon just for the bright and shiny days, not the rainy and stormy days. Portia is one of the women who love the glitz and glamour lifestyle, and Simon has showered her with this type of treatment over the years. She hopped from one vacation to the other, rocked the finest and most expensive designers, used the latest gadgets, and generally lived so extravagantly as she had always dreamed. I was saying Portia loves, and this is all she brags about, is the lifestyle. She wants the glitz, she wants the glamour, she wants the diamond. This has raised the question of whether Portia is aware of Simon's illegal way of making money, because there was no way they were together, and she wouldn't even get a hint of it, or she just didn't seem to care where the man was bringing the money from, as long as she was the highest paid on his payroll. It looks like it has come back to bite her in the ass, though. And there's a problem when a man is not showing you where he gets his money. Eventually, you're going to have to ask. There's a lifestyle that comes with it. A popular news outlet has recently revealed that Portia only filed for divorce because she wanted to make sure that her assets and Simon's were separated when the government eventually had to seize it all. However, Simon doesn't feel the same way about Portia. Simon wants their relationship to continue, regardless of the rough patches they are going through at the moment. A few days after the news of the couple getting a divorce went viral, Simon posted on his Instagram story that he would stop loving his wife when the divorce was final. Well, his claim didn't fly, because people in his comments section reminded him that if he planned to use Portia to get citizenship, it wouldn't work. Oh yeah, it wouldn't work, because America won't grant an individual citizenship through their spouse if the spouse has a terrible arrest record. Unfortunately for Simon, if that was indeed his plan, Portia had already cut that dream short, because Portia had yet to be a good citizen of the country. She was arrested for a misdemeanor back in 2014, after she attacked her co-star Kenya Moore during the filming of the reality TV show. Portia turned herself in for a simple battery charge. She had her mugshot taken and was released on a $2,000 bond. Moving on, different people have had much to say about Portia's quick pullout from the Gobadia family tree she recently bragged about on the internet. 
everyone keeps wondering where things went wrong. Because even days before the divorce news became public, the couple had posted pictures on Instagram all loved up. Simon even took Portia on another extravagant gifting session during this year's Valentine's. So what could have been the missing piece of the puzzle? People on the internet assumed Portia already had the motion ready in her head, and she was just waiting for the right time to set it up. This assumption was resurrected after people on social media remembered how Portia had always talked about adding to Simon's already big family by birthing a child for him. Simon didn't mind as he had always been cool with the family man title. Simon already had five kids, while Portia also had a daughter from one of her past relationships. Suddenly, Portia wasn't interested in carrying a child for Simon anymore. Yeah, it seemed fishy, and it only proved that Portia must have been plotting to leave Simon sooner or later. Popular host Tasha Kay shed more light on the Simon and Portia sweet love turning sour, saying she knows all the tea about the couple's marriage. On her show, Unwind with Tasha Kay, she claimed she and Portia used to share the same makeup artist at a time. Through him, she got all the juicy gossip about what was really going on in the relationship. Tasha Kay claimed Portia had always known what Simon was up to, how he was making his money, and even his dirty past. But she just didn't care. She just wanted him to fund her lifestyle. And now that things are starting to go south for Simon, she wants to pack up her bags and leave him for the next highest bidder. They're always in Dubai. They're always in Mexico. They're always in Nigeria. She surprises him while he's in Nigeria because he's been having these issues. So fans are now excited for how the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta will turn out to be, apart from the fact that it will be way more interesting. The gist that will be revealed concerning Portia's crumbling marriage will be more detailed than what we know right now. Do you think Simon marrying Portia was just a plan to get him the citizenship spot he had dreamed of for the past three decades? Or do you think he truly loves Portia and she may have hooked up with Simon just to enjoy his riches? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications to not miss any celebrity news updates.